Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. We're back at the farm again this evening, see if we can get some more rats bagged up for the landowner. It's been fairly quiet the last few weeks just because we've had a such success with the rifle. I've taken 20 to 25 rats and the landowner and farm manager have taken probably 10 to 15 in fen traps and coupled with the poisoning the rat population has taken quite a nosedive. So yeah there's only two or three shots this evening but I want to put the video together anyway because I've got a couple of new bits of kit I was testing. The first being H&N Hunter Extremes in 177. I want to see what damage they did to rats, so we've got a couple of shots of them. And also I got on loan a weapons mountable rangefinder from Custom Rifle Scopes UK. I'm going to do a separate review video on this, so I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video, but I have included some footage and a quick explanation of how that's working. So let's get on. If you recall from previous episodes where I shoot in and around the barn, if you remember that right at the back there's some hay bales and on the right hand side are some bags of seed. I set up at the entrance of the barn, switch the laser into scan mode and then I ping the pallets at the back. As you can see I'm ranging 21, 22 meters. Across the right hand side here where I thought I may need to shoot as well, if a rat pops his head out, quickly ping that, 17 or 18 meters. You can see what it looks like here on the actual head up display on the night sight unit. I've got the ping set up to the left of the crosshairs so I can move them on, get a ping, swing the crosshairs back and not have the interference on the target. So you can see here, there's the rat, take the shot. There was a good hard smack of metal when I hit that rat. So it looks like that pellet has gone straight through his head. Done a hell of a lot of damage. He lays there for a short time quickly cut the video and you see he jumps himself out there. I go across to check him and he's proper dead. So this is where the laser rangefinder comes into its own. I move position again in the complete darkness but I can quickly ping the area I want to shoot, get some ranges set up which worked out just nicely because this one popped his head out. He popped his head out and he got a hunter extreme straight in the face. Back to the barn opening because I've moved again I just want to do a quick ping, get some ranges set up, and I took a shot on this rat soon after. Unfortunately the night sight unit didn't record this one, but I managed to get the aftermath. See the tail going there. Now the next pictures are quite graphic, it shows the damage these Hunter Extremes are doing. I left quite a mess behind there. I flipped them over and you can see the hole in the side of the head. Pretty good night, only a few shots, but that laser rangefinder is something else. Absolutely superb. I think my initial thoughts on those Hunter Extremes speak for themselves, very powerful, um, seem to make quite a mess of those rats, so I'll get them out again in the next couple of days, do some more tests and see how they perform overall. Like I say, there's going to be a separate video for the Weapons Manable Rangefinder, I'm hoping to get that out in the next week or two, so please look out for that if you're thinking about buying one and hopefully it will help answer any questions you may have. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.